happen. Welcome into the Main Event Broadcasting Network. I'm Danielle Jenkins, Assistant Director of Athletic Communications, and today we'll be joined by newly named head baseball coach Justin Scally as he transitions to his new role in the athletic department. Well, Coach Scally, we appreciate you joining us here. And well, first off, congratulations. It feels a little odd to say congratulations and have a new hire interview for somebody who is a veteran in the department. But you get the step up in position now as you've moved to head baseball coach. And we just want to send congratulations to you first off. We know that it's been a, a long journey for you to get here. It's been an incredibly successful one here at Piedmont under the leadership of former head baseball coach Jim Peoples, who's now transitioning into just the director of intercollegiate athletics role. What does it mean to you to have this program put in your hands now after the storied career of Coach Peoples? Well, first of all, Danielle, thank you for the congratulations. It's much uh, appreciated. Certainly it's an honor um, that Coach Peoples and our administration and everyone here at the college thought enough of me to uh, entrust the baseball program here at Piedmont uh, in my hands. And of course, it won't be just myself. We'll have some help. but. I've known Coach Peoples for such a long time. Um, I've been part of the Piedmont College baseball program the last 12 years and have had a hand in it, at least a hand in building it uh, over that time. So just really honored to accept that role as head coach and looking forward to the future and excited to really attack the job. You mentioned that relationship with Coach Peoples. It's been a long relationship dating back to the days that you were a player under his coaching leadership. Talk about that relationship and, and what you've learned from being under his leadership, not only as a player, but also as a coach. Well, as you mentioned in reference, Coach Peoples recruited me out of high school. So I've known Coach Peoples since 1996. Uh, it's a long time. He saw me play high school baseball. I grew up in, in New York on Long Island and I was on a travel team playing in North Carolina and he saw me play and uh, was really relentless in recruiting me. Uh, he sold me on himself, on the school, and everything that uh, you know I wanted in a college experience he really sold to me and then subsequently delivered. Um, so, so playing for Coach Peoples and then having the opportunity to work with him the last 12 years here at Piedmont has really been one of the highlights of my professional career. Well, before your time at Piedmont, you were obviously a Division III athlete yourself, as you just mentioned, at Methodist University, but you also had some coaching experience as well as you were at Ohio Northern University, as well as spending some time with some summer collegiate baseball. Talk about those experiences and how being able to coach at a young age was able to help develop you and get you ready for taking that next step. Well, of course, Danielle, I did start uh, at Ohio Northern, as you mentioned, and um, you know, Coach Rasick at the time was the head coach at Ohio Northern University and really gave a young, inexperienced, uh, ambitious coach an opportunity. And I'll always be grateful for that opportunity because he did give me a chance to get into college coaching, something that I was really passionate about. Uh, he came in that year as well, so we were new on the staff, and it certainly was an exciting time, a new part of the country for me, but had a wonderful learning experience about uh, recruiting and hard work and all of those things. And then in the summer league, I coached in the Great Lakes Summer Collegiate League, one of the NCAA sanctioned summer leagues. And that gave me a wonderful opportunity to work with athletes across all divisions. We had a lot of Division I players. We had a lot of players get drafted. Um, a wonderful organization there in Lima. So I had a great opportunity in the summers over those two years to really work with some special athletes too. So it was a wonderful building block of my career. And then, um, as you know, I had an opportunity after those two years to join Coach People's staff here at Piedmont. You mentioned Coach Peoples in the recruiting process, selling you on the experience. You are a Division Three guy through and through. That has been uh, your primary target. Moving into this head coaching position, how do you plan on taking the experiences that you learned from the Division Three experience where you were at Methodist University, part of a stellar pitching staff, three conference championships, three NCAA South regional appearances, time as the number one team in the country your senior year. How do you take those and sell the experience of Division Three to those student athletes that you're trying to bring to Piedmont? Well, and I think it's specific to every institution, but I love Piedmont. I've been here a long time, um, I, and I think Piedmont's a wonderful place. And we really try very hard in the recruiting process to sell the, the entire student athlete experience here. What we can provide for our players through the baseball program is only part of what they're going to get to experience here. 
Uh, we have a great faculty. We have a lot of great majors that they can choose from. We're in a beautiful part of Georgia, a beautiful part of the country. So it's a wonderful experience, and we try to identify the individuals that are going to be successful in the classroom and are looking for the experiences we can provide. So it's about identifying good people to join our program and spending time to get to know them and their families and really trying to work very hard to bring in student athletes that will be a good fit within our program and the direction we're trying to go. Now, this Piedmont baseball family is just that. It is a family. It is very tight-knit. How do you plan to try and maintain that consistency with so many changes coming with the coaching staff? So how do you try to maintain that during this transitional period? Well, of course, um, we will not replace Coach Peoples or Coach Dombrowski um, personally and with their skills and knowledge and ability on the baseball field as coaches. Uh, they're not only great coaches, they're great men. Um, but, you know, we're going to move forward and try to bring in some coaches that will uh, embrace those same facts that you just mentioned. Embrace the fact that we are really, you know, want to build a family here uh, within our baseball program and try to identify people, not only our student athletes, but within our coaching staff that believe in those values that we hold high. Well, Coach, we are certainly looking forward to seeing you out on the diamond again next year in your new role. Thank you. Once again, thanks for joining us on the Main Event Broadcasting Network as we sat down with newly named head baseball coach Justin Scally. I'm Danielle Jenkins. We'll see you next time.